want to look at a linear programming problem formulation. A store sells three types of bicycles, type A, B, and C. The store owner is willing to pay $80 on $40 and $110 for each one bicycle of type A, B, and C respectively. So we have three bicycles, A, B, and C, and each is bought at $80, $140, and $110 respectively. A bicycle yields a profit of $20, type B will give a profit of $40, and type C will give a profit of $30. The store owner estimates that no more than 200 bicycles will be sold every month. He or she does not plan to invest more than $26,000 in inventory of the bicycles. So we want to formulate a linear programming problem based on this set of information. So what we are going to do is we are going to let uh, uh, these letters become small letters. And uh, so our objective or the objective of the store owner is to maximize profit. That's the first thing that the store owner wants to achieve. And therefore, remember the profit of type A is $20. The profit of type B is $40. And the profit of type C is $30. So that's the objective function uh, that we have for that problem because the shopkeeper wants to maximize the profit. We have some limitations. Or we are constrained. These are what we call we have limitations or constraints. And the first one is the buying price. What do we know? Type A bicycle will cost you $80. Type B bicycle will cost you $140. And type C bicycle will cost you $110. And so the person does not want to spend more than that amount. And then we divide through by 10, we have 8A plus 14B plus 11C is less than or equals to 2,600. So that's the buying price. The other limitation that the store owner has is what we call the inventory. So if he buys the type A plus the type B plus the type C bicycle, he should not have more than 200 in store. And then the last thing is that the number or the values of the bicycle should be non-negative. You cannot have. That's what we are saying is greater than or equals to zero, meaning that they are non-negative. We cannot have a negative bicycle in store. So he has either bought none or he has bought a positive number of bicycle. We can write our mathematical program so we maximize z which is equals to 20a plus 40b plus 30c subject to a plus b plus c is less than or equals to 200 8a plus 14B plus 11C is less than or equals to 2600. Then with A, B, C greater than or equals to zero. And that is the problem that we have formulated uh, for that uh, specific example that we had.